All right, now I'm going to show you a latch hook method that I use to make some grass. So I've decided that I would really like to put some grass in here, in between here. So what I do is I take all of the ends that I've cut off for making this whole garden and just yarn ends that I've cut off from other projects. Um, and I save them. I know this looks like a big fat mess, but I can actually use this. So what I do is I cut, I would say about a four inch yarn, and I just keep, make a pile of yarns that are about the same size, and I would say about four inches. And I like to use a lot of greens, of course, but I've noticed that if you use other colors, especially colors that are already in your garden, that it really comes out gorgeous. Alright, so I'm going to end up making a really, really big pile of these. Alright, so what happens here is I've decided that I want to put my grass, my multicolored grass, probably along here. And typically I actually put the grass in an actual block, but sometimes it looks really nice if I just put some in the middle or just going along an edge. So I use a latch hook method where I take a crochet hook And I take my yarn and I just, you know, wrap it around, fold it in half. And I take my crochet hook and I put it in the fabric. But when I do that, I just come up, this is actually about, I don't know, three yarns, but it's probably just like a stitch. And I take the loop of my folded yarn. I pull it through and then I I've actually created a loop and I take the ends and I pull it through the loop and I pull tightly but not you know not super tight so then I'll take another one and honestly, to make this really full, I suppose you could do them really close to each other, but I actually don't do them incredibly close. I'll come up here and I'll let, you know, there'll, there'll be a yarn in, in between this one and that one. And again, pull it through. Pull these through. Alright, so I'll pick another color. And again, there's some yarn. There's some yarn in between. I'll pull the yarn through. So this is what it looks like so far. So now that we've spent some time latch hooking, it's time to cut the grass. So typically I use a really sharp pair of scissors and I start cutting in sections and I don't cut it too short at all. In fact, I leave a lot so that 
I can snip it even shorter. So now, I think you probably want an inch. You don't want to have it too long. You don't want to have it too short. But really, it will start looking bad if it's too short. So I just cut in sections and try to make as much as possible, try to make it the same size, the same height. So here we go. This is what it looks like. If you want to cut it shorter, you can. Um, but for the most part, I like that. And I might just go back and trim some that I think are too long. Alright, so there's our grass. 